Tim Sylvia would beat me up. How did you destroy him as easily as you destroyed him? How did you destroy him as easily as you destroyed him? Well, you know, with, with luck, uh, you know, it was a quick fight. <laughs> I love all his modesty as he's beating the shit out of everybody in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Emelianenko, Fyodor, you are next. 
Ibrahimovic is right. A kick and a couple of devastating body shots by Emelianenko taking it to Mirko Krokop. He is a master in game plans. Wax on, wax off. Don't forget to breathe. Very important. The balance so of Emelianenko is incredible. Yeah, look at his balance. Emelianenko's balance is unreal. I don't think it's a good idea to punch with favor. He can bomb, he can take down, he can escape take downs, and he can submit. Oh, I think he's always been definitely I mean, the best heavyweight out there. Anybody would consider this guy the best in the world. I, I just don't understand it. I don't get it. So you're gonna warn about Fedor? So at least he went out and went for the fucking kill. Unlike Hands and Silva, he's fucking dancing with his opponents. Fedor, you know, is not afraid to get hit. Anderson never gets hit. Fedor gets his face busted up. Fedor tends to keep his hands comparatively low. Fedor can pick up hands though, man. He's gonna get him faster, just like that right there. Oh! And he's oh, he's cut. He's, Fedor is cut. Oh, man! Echo badly. Oh! Olaski very confident with the strikes. Whoa! Fedor's in a bad position. I've never seen Fedor hit like this. something about that the ability to go to war with somebody with like a dead face like dead calm like he might be so smart and so into you know winning and 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 beating dudes at fighting and so capable of crossing boundaries that others aren't willing to cross that he might just be insane for sure there's a discipline to it and for sure it's something that he's learned over time but also he might be crazy as fuck Super. And you're going to turn into an angry person. Oh, this is dangerous! Theodore is going to dispatch this man very quickly. Really, that guy is just such a scary customer. Never. 
Oh, and he's got the power shot. This is where Vader was so dangerous. Oh, Vader! Oh, oh, oh. Feeling punishment! But the ground and power. Oh, oh big, 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 big punch! What a rush! Have a fist by Vader! He needs to get out of this. He's got the Kamara! В финале должен был биться с Бобом Хоффманом, тоже боец из Америки. Но Боб Хоффман вышел на бой и отмахнул в мою сторону. То есть не стал биться со мной. То есть а почему? Почему? <laughs> не знаю почему. Ну, сказал, что у него травма, но врач японский подходил к нашей команде и говорил, что у него травм нету. Можно предположить, что он испугался? Можно и так предположить. And uh, boy, oh boy, where does he go from here? And is there anyone on earth who could defeat that man? Doom is top of the food chain, Abu Dhabi champion. Of course, Verdum is an exceptionally gifted guy on the ground. Verdum has submitted Alistair Overeem. Nogueira was the first big guy to have a very dangerous gun. Nogueira was the jiu-jitsu savior. It's Russian Samuel versus Brazilian jiu-jitsu. That was kind of a triangle position, able to break that. Better should get up. He should have never gone into the art of the guerra. So just crashes right back into the car. Said, Brian, try it in another triangle. Good try it. Fatal better watch out and don't get overconfident because it's going to go wrong. Before and in, I fight in Pride, Felipe Verdun is my brother. My brother look at the, the Federer Minotauro fight. Fabricio, this is um, you one Fedor, one, one day. <laughs> Vader's going to make a mistake and he's going to catch him with something else. Watch it. Dude trying to wrap him up! He's going to realize, no, this is, this is hype. He might lose this. It's deep and it's high, but it's up. Vader's very deep. And he could realize, like, this is it. The most dramatic single half in MMA history. We now turn to Fedor Emelianenko and Fedor, can you give us an idea of what's going through your mind at this time? I was there that night in Fatal Attempt, that was surreal. Woo! Watching that ringside, it was sad, it was crazy. Why sad? No big deal, just got caught. It's like he gained something from it. It's like he needed that loss to care. See the cherry blossoms which signify the arrival of spring. Here in Japan, they also represent the samurai spirit. Theodore Emelianenko is just incredible to watch, boss. Yes, he is. Five heavyweight champions! fight at 205, he's fighting at heavyweight, knocking guys out. The 
best heavyweight out there. Now, Antonio Silva is another guy, very, very strong, working with American top team, and someone that is very dangerous if Fyodor should let himself be reckless. Also, uh, Bigfoot Silva has a 40-pound weight advantage. This is going to be a fascinating fight, because Fedor is going to come at him very aggressively, especially in those first couple minutes. Antonio Silva's in this fight for sure, but this is a fight Fedor wants to come in and absolutely destroy him. He's given up height, and he's giving up weight. Reach. <laughs> Too big with the kick combination. Yeah. yeah. And then being 60 pounds heavier, that's a big difference, man. A belly and ankle, exhausted, hanging on for dear life. His right eye is a mess. The doctor stops this contest at the end of round number two, continuing to the semifinals of the Strike Force Heavyweight World Grand Prix. Antonio. Inside, deep down inside, the fighters know if they can become a champion or not. I think they already know that. You know, I think you feel that. Down deep, it affects him as much as he can uh, say no and, and deliver it to God. Yeah, it, it surely affects him. Maybe he's getting old. Maybe he's starting to slip. Who knows? <laughs> To be that man, you gotta keep being that man, and I just don't, I don't know if he's gonna keep doing it. Question number one, gentlemen. Fedor or Arlovsky, who wins that match? Bottom's on the line. You've got nothing to hang your head about, Fedor. We still love you, man. Fedor. I had no Fedor. And the crowd salutes him, appreciating the fight he gave them tonight. Fedor has some doubters, but I don't know about any haters. You know, who hates Fedor? How can you hate that guy? Вы можете припомнить, каким к вам Федор пришел? Федор? Ну, маленький, щупленький, худенький, но глаза горели. С характером, да. Никогда не сдавался, бился до последнего. Я опять удивительный успех. Это бластер, который будет штурмовать 210 килограммов. Бластер побеспокоен. Неужели до года? Вот он взял штангу на грудь. Там грудь.
we'll see Fedor versus Krokov. Yeah. Oh, Fedor and Nogueira. You know those epic fights? You were over there for some of the greatest fights ever. Ever. Those are some nice people. I talked to him there, man. Yeah. And his and the coach, his wife, got a nice butt, nice and big, and so I like to watch around him, hang around, to make sure they're okay, you know. <laughs> so they're nice people, you know. Fan of Sir Mix a lot, I take it there. Oh, oh yeah. I cannot lie. Yeah, one more to put a zoo. I'm not lying to you, man. 